This is Shannon Tidwell, back again this week with your Memory Keeping Monday. It's my turn to do a layout for you. Um, this month, one of our themes is stamping, and I'm not a huge stamper on um, in my scrapbooking projects, but whenever I find a cute stamp, um, I grab it up and try to make myself figure out how to use it and try to use it in a fun, a little bit different way. Um, and this time around, I'm going to be using this jar stamp um, by Dear Lizzie American Crafts. This is just a fun stamp, and I love that um, you can just use the stamp part of the um, jar part of it and not the inside, so you can put whatever you want inside the jar. And that's kind of what I did with this layout. Um, I'm just going to show you. You can see all the jars here. I haven't adhered any of this down, I've just kind of got it ready to go for you guys. But um, here's one of the jars and um, it's filled with glitter. And I'm gonna show you how I did this because I wanted it to look like it was kind of, you know, the most of the glitter was at the bottom and it, and it kind of gradient up a little bit. So I wanted it to actually look like it was a real jar with glitter in it. That was my goal anyway. So I wanna show you how I did this. I actually used um, paint to do the stamping just because I thought that would be fun and I kind of like the messy way it looks and that way I don't, stress about the ink being too neat or being a perfect stamped image with paint. It's not going to be a perfect stamped image and that's what you're going for so I find that a little bit more relaxing. So I'm going to um, do a demonstration of how I made my jars and we'll do one together and then I'll do a few of them that I'll show you some different ideas of things that you could put in the jars for your layouts or cards, anything like that would be really cute. And then once we finish with that, I'm going to put this layout together and um, hopefully we'll come out with a cute finished product. So first what I did is I just used some craft paint that I had on hand. You can use any kind of um, acrylic paint that you have. This stuff is years old, but hey, it still works, so it's great. So what I did, um, just to keep it a little bit neater, even though it is a little bit of a messy process, I painted the ink, the paint onto it with a brush. And that way, and you can kind of control how much paint you have. If you just do a, a tiny bit of paint, you will get more of a detailed image. Um, you can usually stamp two or three times too with just one application of the paint. And I found that the second and third time have more of a detail of the image. Okay, so now you're gonna need to let your images dry for a little bit. I've already got some that I've let dry and I've got a couple different colors here that I've done. Um, on the layout ones that I did, I used a gray ink or paint, I'm sorry, a gray paint to stamp on. And then I, I did some others in different colors just to kind of see what it would look like and just play around a little bit. So I'm going to play around with these with you guys. Okay, now to fill the jar. What I did is I, I wanted something that was just like a clear paint. And I found this that I had in my craft supplies. And it's just a, a gloss varnish. But you could use anything that you have on hand um, that will dry clear and with a little bit of dimension. You just want it to be clear and glossy. Um, so it looks like the glass on the jar, basically. That was the look I was going for. So I'm going to first use this orange one here that I haven't cut out. And what I did was just kind of drop a glob of this in the middle here. You don't want too much, but you want enough. And then I took another paintbrush and I just want to work it around the edge. And you don't need to get too close to the edge because once you drop your glitter and stuff in there, it will it'll spread out even a little bit more. So probably don't put too much your first try around and kind of play with the amount you need. But here's the easy thing. If you goof up one, no biggie. Make another one. So it doesn't take much time. So first I'm going to show you how I did the ones that are actually on my page. And I used glitter. And I happen to have the doodle bug glitter on hand. But you could use, I guess I'll just use the orange since, um, I 
don't think these are available in the store anymore here on Two Peas, but I noticed that American Crafts just had a whole slew of glitters and tinsels and fun things like that that would be perfect for a project like this. So if you don't have the Doodlebug glitter or another glitter at home, those are a great, um, something that you can grab now, something new. So what I did is I first concentrated on the bottom of the jar and just lightly tap it out and you can see that it kind of the glitter kind of starts swimming around and I just kind of let it swim and you can see that it spreads upward so that it stays you know the most dense here at the bottom but then the little glitters kind of float up inside the varnish so I'm going to leave it like that because it's a little over half full jar of glitter. And so what I did, I didn't bother with shaking it off at this point because if you start shaking, you've got that wet paint on there, the varnish, and you're going to make a mess of that. So what I did was just let it be, let it dry for an hour or two, however long it takes for your varnish to dry. And, and then once you get it dry, then shake it off. Alrighty then, I've got the main components of my layout pretty much done. I've got the jars filled with the glitter that I told you about. Um, so now I'm going to assemble it all and then we'll see kind of how it turns out. I thought that the layout when I was kind of planning it out needed something on the sides. I wasn't sure what that was going to be, but then I saw this paper with the stripes by Dear Lizzie that it's not, it's more of a, um, almost gray, grayish brown, I guess, stripe. And I thought that was a nice contrast to the background. Something interesting without being just too overbearing. But I wanted it to be interesting enough, I guess. So that's what I went with. I'm not sure. I've got some craft pieces cut that I thought I might line the edge there with just to add a little bit um, of extra dimension to the background, but I don't know yet. So I'm going to set these to the side and see if I decide on something else by the time we're done with this. So what I want to do is, let me move these things out of the way. So this photo and the pattern paper piece that I've got next to it, basically I just want it to be centered. So I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to eyeball it. To dress up the jars a little bit, I punched, I used the Blue Ribbon Punch by Fiskars and Ginny Bolin. But I wanted these little tags to be teeny tiny so that they would match the size of the um, ribbon, the Blue Ribbon image shape. So I went ahead and printed these out and then just cut them into flag shapes. So they're a little bitty tiny. And I tried to think of words that kind of went along with the color of the glitter, keeping with the theme here. So like for purple, I was thinking purple passion. Orange was a hard one and I ended up coming up with originality for that one. Of course sparkle for the white diamonds. For the pink, I went with, I was thinking bubble gum, but then I ended up going with bubbles. And I'm just kind of alternating back and forth which side I'm putting the blue ribbon as well as the, the little label tag. So for the green, it made me think of sour apples, that color green, so I went with sour. Because of course she's three, she's a little sour. And a little sneaky as well, so I put that on the black. For red, I went with rubies, and of course with the yellow sunshine. So, I'm going to go through here and adhere all of this down, and then we'll work on the title and maybe figuring out some other kind of border embellishment to go on this side. I have um, another jar that I actually filled with some different kind of the chunkier glitter. Um, I, Whenever I was doing this and kind of figuring out and playing around and figuring out what I wanted to put in my jars, I did one of these, but I only had this one color of the chunky glitter. But I thought it would be cute to use 
kind of as an accent piece with the title and the photo up here, even though it's different than these at the bottom. So what I came up with for the title or um, I guess phrase on this layout was that um, I, I again printed these out on the computer and this just say all the wonderful things that fill your jar of life. And that's what I'm going to use for my title phrase because you don't always have to have like a big title with you know big letter stickers or something like that. You can use more of a phrase and just let it be a little more simple um, and not go for the keyword. Or you could, you could, I could have kind of cut out the word jar here and maybe use that as a large word or maybe life. I mean different different things you could have done but I decided just to leave it all small like that. And then I used the new um, Dear Lizzie stamp, another stamp here. And um, this is a lot of fun and I was surprised at how inexpensive it was. I think it was only like three something, three around three dollars. And the same with this acrylic, the jar stamp that I use. I'm real inexpensive. So I love those kinds of things. And I mean, for goodness sakes, I got my three dollars worth out of that jar stamp, even if I don't use it again. I mean look at all the embellishments I made just for this one layout. So yay me. Anyway, I'm going to glue these things then in together, and then I need to figure out just some kind of finishing embellishment touches for the layout to kind of finish it off. Okay, so I think I figured out what I want to add, and um, I think I'm going to go with this tape. It's a pink um, tape. It's a little bit see-through. I almost went for the masking tape, but decided to give it a break on this layout. I've been using it so much and thought the pink would be a nice touch to tie in her pink shirt. Mm, who doesn't love pink? So I, I get asked a lot how I know when a layout is done and when to stop and truthfully it's kind of hard sometimes but um, you just kind of have to trust your gut I guess on that and this layout really there was just something I just felt like it needed something else and I didn't know I've been trying to put something over here on the sides and that doesn't work but um, what I do then if I can't figure out I just start thumbing through like I keep a basket of um, some of my newest things that I bought just small embellishment wise and that's what I did I just started thumbing through and, and I found this little booklet of stickers that I got um, that's Dear Lizzie it's new and it had this little pink I mean I'm sorry orange flag in it that says my girl and I thought this was perfect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it just right up here just real simple I'm going to use I feel like it needs something just to make it look like it's attached and not just sitting there so I'm gonna use my um, tiny attacher by Tim Holtz to staple this little thing on here. And then I want this sticker to float off the page just a tad. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a tiny little bit of foam adhesive, almost out. Just a little bitty piece. And I'm going to stick it Right here at the end and so now I can say that this layout's done I feel like it's balanced I feel like um, I feel like I'm finished thanks so much for hanging out with me for this week's memory keeping Monday I hope that you enjoyed our segment and we'll do a little stamping of your own even if you're not a big stamper like me that you'll grab onto a stamp that catches your eye and give it a try um, and maybe try something a little bit different instead of going with the ink, going with the paint, you know, adding some glitter, doing something a little bit fun to dress it up a bit. So um, that's all for my turn this week. I hope that you'll join us next Monday. One of the other Memory Keeping Girls will have a new layout for you and a new video and all that fun stuff. So have a great week. Thanks. Bye.